cloning of sheep and frog a clone is a cell or group of cells or it's it can be an organism which are genetically identical to the parents so this is known as clone and the process is known as cloning so cloning is a process that is used to create copies of a dna of a dna fragment or it can be a copy of cells or of the whole organism now the first organism that was cloned was a unicellular organism named as sea urchin later scientists performed experiments on frogs and on sheep for cloning bricks and cakes produced normal tadpole clones by using nuclei from early embryo and they use a technique known as nuclear transfer technique which is one of the viable technique of genetic engineering now what happens in nuclear transfer nucleus direct cell growth proliferation differentiation and development of the organism so if we use embryonic cells which are at their early stages it is better for nuclear transfer technique then uh, rather than using the embryonic cell of later stages so this technique of nuclear transfer will ultimately result in the production of the whole organism now john garden they use somewhat a different technique they transplant the nucleus of a tadpole intestinal cell into an enucleated frog egg and they produce number of tadpoles which are genetically identical to one from the intestinal cell they were taking so from this they found their cells actually retain the genetic material material genetic information as they divide proliferate and differentiate into the organism then steen wellettsen they use a chemical process to separate one cell from the eight cell lamb embryo and later they use electric shock technique to introduce this cell into the enucleated egg cell and from this they develop two lamb embryos which are then inserted into the venom of the surrogate lamb mother this gives birth to three live lambs At the same time Wilmet and Keith they also perform an experiment on sheep but they somewhat use a different technique here they used culture sheep cells which they freeze in a laboratory they transfer the nuclei from the culture cells into enucleated sheep egg cells and from this technique two lambs were produced one named as Megan and the other named as Morick these transgenic Uh, sheep were also produced for other ways for example the gene which is responsible for the production of factor 9 it is also inserted into the sheep now what is the purpose of factor 9 gene factor 9 is actually a blood clot protein and it is used to treat hemophilia they wilmet and keith they insert factor 9 gene into the sheep and the sheep named polly that produce factor 9 in her milk so in this way wilmet and keith uh, prepared an other transgenic sheep now wilmet and keith they also performed experiments on the sheep by using adult somatic cells for the first time and after the production of sheep number of ethical issue arises here now how the adult somatic cells are used for the production of sheep dolly now here every cell nuclei has a complete genetic information that we know and the embryo cells have the ability to activate any gene to halt any gene in order to keep the balance so the embryonic cells has the ability to check out the negative feedback as well as the positive feedback related to the genes now wilmet and creeth performed 277 attempts and of the 277 attempts only one embryo was produced that was carried into a lamb mother and a famous lamb was produced named as dolly and from here the controversies arises regarding the cloning technique dolly was born in 1996 or is 
اس کے چھ سال کے بعد ڈالی ریسپریٹری ڈسٹریس اور دوسری بیماریوں میں مبتلا ہو گئی جیسے کہ ام میچیور آرتھرائٹس سو کلوننگ نو ڈاؤٹ اٹ از این اڈلٹ سیل دیٹ کین ری پروگرام دیم سیلز اینڈ ٹرن ان ٹو اے نیو ہیومن بینگ اور ان ٹو اے نیو انڈیویجول بٹ ایتھیکل ایشو رائزز ہوور ہیئر دیٹ کلوننگ میکس ہیومن گاڈس اینڈ ہیلتھ ریسک آر دیئر ان کلوننگ اینیملس سو کیپ ان مائنڈ دیٹ آل اینیملس ہیو دا رائٹ اینڈ ویدر دے آر دا ایتھیکل رائٹس سوشل رائٹس اور دا لیگل رائٹس وی ہیو ٹو کنسیڈر دیئر بہیویرل ایشو دیئر سوشل ایشوز ایز ویل سو آل اینیملس آر ایکولی ٹریٹیڈ